The freakiest was that date I had with Barney. Oh. Peter, you don't know how badly I need this. I don't know, Barney. It's it's just a little weird. Joe's a friend of mine. No, it, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's okay, Peter. Make sure you like and subscribe and go follow me on Patreon. It's only five dollars a month, and you get an extra video every week. You think you got what it takes? Quick, I'll jokes. tell you what I got. Your wife's put on my breath. Nobody's ever talked to me like that before. That's because everyone's mouth is usually full of your wife's box. Today, I'm going to be doing a Family Guy compilation on season six. I'll return to Sunday Golf on CBS. And Mickelson here trying to save Par. And there's Mickelson's wife. God, is she hot. Look at that wreck. There's a downhill lie for you. Oh, and they're just out there begging to be touched, pleading. How many golf balls do you think she can fit in her mouth? I'd hit that one in the rough if you know what I'm saying. Who are you kidding, Greg? You'd pork her for a week and then get tired of her. Yeah, you're right. That's what I do. That's my thing. But a hell of a week, though. Hell of a week. And I think I just got an idea. A much better idea than when I did magic for the blind. Is this your card? I don't know. Was it a red card? I don't know what red is. Ta-da! Kids, kids, kids! Shiny, gooey, stretchy, fun! Hasbro's best thing ever! Sticky, yummy, bouncy, fun! Hasbro's best thing ever! Fly it! Yeah! Toss it! Awesome! Swim it! Oh! Eat it! Whoa! Hasbro's best thing ever! Kids! Kids! Ah! It's so awesome! I want it! We now return to Superman 5, The Broken Condom. Hey, Lois, ready to go to dinner? Yeah, sure. Just let me grab my purse. Oh, no. Okay, ready. Ooh, on second thought, I got something I gotta do back on Krypton. I thought Krypton was destroyed. I think we should see other people. <laughs> Like listening to those two foreign guys down at the coffee shop who've been living in the U.S. almost long enough to sound American. Oh, man. What a good bunch of partying at that discotheque. They played one of my audience requests. Way awesome. I myself drank like five liters of beer. Any more and I would have ended up in hospital, man. Oh, you said it, friend. But I wanted to stay because I almost had sex on this girl. Oh, yeah, but it was so expensive. Each drink was like $6.40. We now return to Pick Harrison Ford story. telling random people he wants his family back. I want my family back. Okay. Give me back my family. Get off me! I want my family back. <laughs> we are gonna patrol the borders and keep this town as clean as a Jewish porn. I own four apartment buildings. Mm. I have central air. Oh. And a well-funded 401k. Oh, we are going to have sex at some point. I got no money. I couldn't even afford to get my hair cut yesterday. That'll be $5. Sorry, lost my wallet. But I already cut your hair. Oh, well, guess there's nothing you can do about it now. That son of a bitch. Brian, you have got to get Dylan under control. Yes, He's terrorizing the whole family. Yeah, you wouldn't believe what he did to Meg yesterday. He made her watch the other 178 hours of Monty Python stuff that isn't funny or memorable. I have a pet hedgehog named Zippy, and I shall walk her to town. And each time my foot hits the ground, I shall say boing, boing, boing. I'm a girl! I don't even like the good Monty Python sketches. And I'll stick to that story even if nobody believes it. I'll tell you what nobody believes in. Ghosts! Where did Robinson Crusoe go with Friday on Saturday night? Ah! Damn! Play me off, Johnny! You're probably wondering why he's in hell. Johnny liked little boys. Sounds like you need a roommate. Where'd you get that kind of money? I picked up Chris's paper route. Wash, gosh, by gosh, it's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Oh, we got a fighter. Sometimes I feel more useless than the head of the maids union. And what exactly are uh, your demands? We need more lemon pledge. You need more lemon pledge? Yes. We're not responsible for that. You should just bring it from your own home. No. 
I am going to kick him out of this house faster than NASA kicked out the Cocoa Puffs bird. Okay, your physical exam was within range. You aced the flight simulator. I guess all that's left is the psychological screening. Okay. How do you feel about this? Ah, oh my god, Cocoa Puffs. No, that's not me anymore. I'm just here to fly, sir. Coming this fall on Fox, a new reality show. Who wants to marry Corky from Life Goes On? You won't believe what happened. See, look, Maggie um, just walked out on you. He's a bad man, like Jody Foster. Why is he dressed like <gasps> Oh, no, Jody, it's my husband. He's home from work early. Wait. Don't worry, baby. He had to find out sometime. <laughs> now you're talking, Angela. This country needs more immigrants like my cousin Peter the Pig needs a new house. <sighs> uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. What? I said I wouldn't do that. I said knock it off. Why? Because I just made stool in there, and if you blow it down, the whole woods is gonna stink. Do you understand? Do you understand me, sir? I had another date. You know, I'm glad you're finally putting yourself out there. Lois would have wanted you to move on. Yeah, only this one was kind of awkward. My date was a stick figure. So, I, how would this work in, in bed? Well, I can't do sex, but I can give you a stick job. That, uh, that sounds... Yes, it is very unpleasant. The one that, like, killed me is... I don't know what any of their names are. They're like that string quartet or something. I, I literally said it wrong because it's not a string quartet. They're the, the guys who are all... He was playing a piano in hell, okay? So he had said something about, you want to know what else people don't believe in? For some reason, I thought he was going to say Jesus. Don't know why. He said ghosts, and he's a ghost, so I guess he died because I see them every now and again. There's four of them. And he's just by himself. So I was like, oh, I wonder what happened to the others. Um, one of them's in hell. Um, and I just thought that was such a nice touch. And then you think that it's really funny, happy-go-lucky. And then they're like, oh, because he liked little, like, it just, like, slaps you in the face almost. Yes, it is very unpleasant. My parents are not going to like this, Peter. You know, they're still angry at how you behaved at our wedding. You may now kiss the bride. Kiss her? I am going to destroy her. But the freakiest was that date I had with Barney. Oh. Peter, you don't know how badly I need this. Hey, I don't know, Barney. It's, it's just a little weird. Joe's a friend of mine. No, it, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's okay, Peter. Tonight's movie presentation is brought to you by Sanka. Don't you wanna wanna Sanka? Don't you wanna wanna Sanka? Don't you wanna wanna Sanka? It doesn't keep me up at night, but it helps me poo. We now return to busy business lady whose life is missing something, but she doesn't realize it because she's so busy with business. No, no, I cannot make that business meeting. I've got a different business meeting at three, and we'll be doing business there. I was wondering if you're free for coffee. Oh, no, I can't. I've got a lunch meeting, and then a meeting after lunch. After that... Shh, shh, shh. Over the next 90 minutes, I'd like to show you that all your problems can be solved by my penis. Line. That's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and go check out all of my content on Patreon. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, bye, baby, bye.